back to you. Easy forever. Welcome, members, to this week's edition of Feedback Learnex. I'm Marilyn Delacruz. I'm Alejandro Castañeda. And we're here in the middle of it all. We're in the place where everything happens, where all the celebrations take place. Today initiates the week of September, and we're here celebrating Mexico's independence, the pride of being Mexican. Right, Mr. Alejandro? Yeah, and there's a lot of things that we can know about this place, you know? Uh, there's a lot of facts that we can know, like fun facts or actual historical facts. That's correct. So the Zócalo or the square now in the 21st century, we see it as somewhere where we celebrate everything from concerts, from protests, from different cultures. It's a gathering point here in Mexico City. But it wasn't the same way before that. So it initiated as kind of the place of the mixture of cultures, the indigenous, the, the Spanish rule, all that came together in the Zócalo. There's a lot of history, a lot of culture, um, very, very mixed into, intertwined into what is the Zócalo, right, Mr. Alejandro? Yeah, and there's, of course, a lot of things that we can know about this place, like historical things, uh, dark passages from Mexico, like you know that the American flag waved over the National Palace, so tips like that and fun facts like that we're going to talk about today in this uh, feedback learnings. So don't miss out. This is going to be an interesting, very involved feedback learnings with a lot of history, a lot of information, but most of all with a lot of pride. So stay tuned. We're here just steps away from the very majestic Mexico City Cathedral. Um, it is found in the Zócalo Square and it is one of the most marvelous structures found not only in Mexico City but in all of Latin America. It is dedicated to the Assumption of the Virgin Mary and it is inside so grandiose and so marvelous uh, but it is also a kind of combination as we heard earlier the Zócalo Square is a meeting of two cultures of the indigenous and the Spaniard. So this cathedral represents just that. At the very top of the tower you can find 56 bells, 56 different bells, although 30 of those have been recently replaced in the last 5 to 10 years. Um, inside of the, the cathedral you can find marble, you can find gold, um, many uh, relics and, and very Catholic and Christianity structures. Something very interesting that you can find about the cathedral is that it is located specifically situated on top of what used to be the very Aztec uh, ruins of Mexico City. So that's just a little bit about the cathedral. Let's take a look at what the cathedral looks like. Okay, now we are here next to Palacio Nacional, which is a 200 meter construction. This construction was built by order of Hernán Cortés uh, over the house of Moctezuma. Uh, and over the years, this has been a construction used as the executive federal for here in Mexico. So it's like a symbol of power. It is supposed or is the place where the president works. So this is the symbol of power and there has been a witness of all kind of events here in Mexico. It's located in the main square of Mexico City, known as Plaza de la Constitución or El Zócalo. Uh, this building uh, has, as, as we know, was ordered to build or was ordered to reconstruct it by Plutarco Elias Calles uh, in the year of 1522. So. During this year, uh, they do the last part, a third level, uh, which is the facade as we know right now. So, this is one of the most incredible buildings that we have here in Mexico. Because it's a symbol of power of Mexico, uh, the representatives of Mexico, the president works here. So, it's a, a, a one of the most important buildings. We are here steps away from what is one of the most representative things in the Zócalo, which is the flag. Standing at 100 meters tall, it is the figure that you see whenever you are 
blocks or steps away from El Zócalo. Um, at 6 o'clock in the morning, the flag is risen right on the dot, and at 6 o'clock at night, at sunset, um, the flag comes down. Now, the Zócalo, or the, the plaza, the square, um, is what it's called, is the constitutional square, and it is the place where everything happens, from marches, from protests, um, people coming from all over the world meet here in this spot. Um, this spot is the place where there are festivals, not only Mexican festivals or food festivals of cultures and things that you can find in Mexico, but international things as well. It is the meeting mecca point for Mexico City. That's where you can find in El Zócalo. On my back, we have the Templo Mayor, which is the most important archaeological site in Mexico City. And it's interesting because uh, the construction was temple over temple. There are seven layers of construction. Each ruler uh, made uh, to construct another building over and over and over again. So when the Spanish people came and conquered Tenochtitlan, they made to build our a huge uh, church over this uh, temple so they practically destroyed these ruins so so far this is what we had or we used to be one of the most important parts of uh, this big culture Tenochtitlan well guys unfortunately we have to finish this episode of feedback this week but thank you for joining us in this very short but surprising trip here in the downtown of Mexico City we definitely learned a lot of things and it was surprising, isn't it, Miss Merlin? That's right, Mr. Alejandro. Remember, guys, to join us every Thursday night at 9.15 p.m. to learn not only a lot more surprising things about Mexico, but in general, a lot of vocabulary, different culture, and surprising things in general. See you guys next week. Viva Mexico! Mexico!